you uh, when we asked you yesterday as to you know how comfortable Josh feels in throwing no huddle and stuff, you told us to ask him, so we actually did. And he said he feels he gets to his answers better when you guys go to that approach. So with that in mind, how much does that weigh into your thinking as coaches going forward? Uh, we'll see. I mean, that was one game, uh, one game plan specific for the for the Dolphins. So. You know, we'll just see how it, how it works here every week. We're always, always going to try and put our players in position like, like you know we talk about. So that's, that's the job of us as coaches. Did his level of comfort come across in reviewing the film of the game? Uh, well, we had victory Monday, so I know he's been in with, uh, with Brian and, and uh, Ken Dorsey. So, um, you know, it's really just about our whole, and our, our, our whole team, Chris, improving, um, identifying the areas that were good, celebrating those, reinforcing those, and then correcting what wasn't. And then uh, and building on those. You made it a point to you know, at least Josh <coughs> talked about it on Wednesday about <sighs> informing the team to play fearless. Did you see maybe some an effect of that, or and, and, and did you see an effect of that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I just I just think this. I think look when you when you shape good game plans. Uh, when the players take ownership of those game plans, um, the mentality of the football team comes to light, and and the execution was that it was at a high level yesterday, and that's that's really the key week to week. Why did you feel the need to deliver that message? Uh, I delivered a lot of different messages every week. The guys will tell you. So um, at the end of the day, it's player driven. You know, I can say what I what I said, but at the end of the day, they took ownership, and it's player driven. I thought Tremaine Evans did a heck of a job. I mentioned it after the game, did a heck of a job with his leadership last week. Um, and, and again, it's, at the end of the day, the, the most powerful type of leadership is, is the leadership in the locker room. Sean, if you could, uh, where do you think the breakdowns occurred in the um, kick return game yesterday? Yeah, they got to the edge a little bit. Um, you know, so we've got to go back and look at that. I know Heath and Matt have gone uh, this morning, looked at it last night uh, as well. So. Um, great to see a lot of our players, even though it's victory money, coming in, wanting to know the answers as to why in that case. And um, so that's something we definitely have to address this week. What was your reaction uh, to seeing Tremaine get up in front of the team and just how the guys responded? Yeah, um, very proud of him. You know, uh, I've mentioned uh, at length about, talked at length about his youth, just second year, middle of the second year, Josh the same way, and sometimes you forget that. Um, but to see him take ownership and stand up and address his teammates, um, very mature type of approach, and, and then he backed it up uh, with his play. What did you see that um, made you want to have Jermaine and Matt blitz a little bit more than usual, and then what did you see when you looked back at it? Yeah, just uh, I thought the defensive staff, Leslie Frazier, uh, did a really good job identifying uh, in that game in particular, how we how we should attack them, um, and uh, and the guys again took ownership of it, understood it, and they played fast and physical. If uh, Ty is out, uh, Cody figures to get a little bit more work. How, how would you assess uh, yesterday, and then just kind of where he is ten games into his rookie year? Yeah, I think the uh, the rotation uh, there's power in that rotation that they've. That, that Bobby and Brian have put into place uh, since day one, really, for the most part. Uh, and so, um, you know, now that, that that's helped us, right, and that helped us through this game, and, and now it's hopefully uh, enabled Cody to, to go on, and if he can't, if Ty can't play and, and, and do it uh, either on his own or, or we have some other combination there. But I really, I really thought Cody played a good physical brand of football yesterday, and uh, he'll continue to get better. Obviously, you know, sticking with that rotation for pretty much 10 games it would indicate that you liked it. I mean, it's not, you don't always see that on a team. You know, sometimes you make a decision, but you guys were mm-hmm. rolling with that. So, will it be a change if, you know, if Ty can't go for, for Cody? In, in what regard do you mean, Jay? Well, just like, like you mentioned there, like, would you consider rotating him with another player, or do you? Uh, we'll we'll see. Y- yeah, we'll see. Um, confident in Cody, uh, number one. Um, but always want to look at different combinations too, and, and make sure we've got the best best combinations out there. Whether it's Cody full time or or uh, any if that, and that boats for any position, you know. But I thought Cody came in and did really did a heck of a job yesterday, which which is what we expect. He's only gonna he's only gonna get better from here. And then last thing on that, you know, when when Ty did go down and he carted off and it looked like there was an air cast, I mean, it looked pretty bad. Is the 
fact that you are still getting tested, can that be taken as a good sign or is it all too early? Yeah, too early. Yeah. I tell you as much as I can, it's it's too early right now. So Sean, um, we just noticed it seems like maybe Tremaine might be blitzing a little bit more the last couple of weeks. When you evaluate him coming out of college, what did you think about his skill set to be able to do that? Yeah, I mean, that's one of the things we, we evaluate uh, with our defensive players is their blitz ability. Um, some guys have it, some guys don't. Some guys have it, but it hasn't been developed or they weren't asked to do it as much maybe in college as, as we asked them to do it here. Um, so uh, that's all part of the evaluation process, yeah. After being asked, you know, just wondering about what your style points and all this, is, was there a sense of, there seemed to be a sense of joy uh, of, of dominating an opponent like that, which I think was part of the what did you make of just the performance in which the team did dominate um, in, in numerous categories? Yeah, um, John, I just felt like it was a mentality. That's really that's really what it was. It was it was a mentality um, more than anything, and the mentality of a team. And um, and so again, that that took that took shape amongst our players first, and and, and for that, I'm extremely proud of them for it. Do you think that mentality was missing earlier in the year? Uh, not necessarily. No, not necessarily. It's just it's just uh, it's the growth and, and the course corrections through a natural season, and and then what's the next step, right? And and uh, that's really what what um, you try and do is to guide them in the right direction, and then they take it from there. John, what went into the uh, Levi Kevin split, and how did Levi handle that being on the field? Yeah, Levi was you know um, we did that at a, at a couple other positions as well, and Levi. Um, as I said before, Joe, he's he's a team first, unselfish young man that has done a, and played a lot of good football for us, and, and we expect him to continue with that. Um, just rolling them was just taking a look at different combinations again, um, and then making the offense work a little bit as well in some different areas, different types of players, um, different combinations. Devin, sorry, Devin said, you, know, you showed a lot of faith and trust in him in a conversation, obviously, after you put the ball on the ground a couple times. How important is it, Coach, when you have a young player like that puts the ball down a couple times to, to continue to show that faith so he knows that you know, he hasn't supported you guys. Yeah, um, you know, Devin's a conscientious young man. We know that. <clears throat> um, we don't take that lightly when you put the ball on the ground. Um, I think that message has is, is resonated loud and clear with our football team and um, as well as penalties. Those guys have gotten that corrected. It's a week-to-week -week deal, as it always is. Um, we, we, we strive to play disciplined football. One of the areas we play discipline is not, is not turn the ball over. What do you mean, Kyle Josh? <coughs> uh, he faced a lot of questions last week. You faced a lot of questions last week. As a he about the offense, can he throw a hit a deep pass? What do you make of just what he showed in, in coming out with one of his most efficient and best performances? Yeah, you know, I, I think he showed his personality, uh, honestly, uh, John. He's, uh, he's a highly competitive young man, got a lot of confidence in, in that young man. Um, he competes at a high level. Um, whether he, whether really he's having a, one of his best days or he's not, and yesterday I thought was one of his better days, um, and he'll, he's only going to get better, much like Tremaine, just in the middle part of his second year with, with a lot of uh, a lot of reps under his belt, but also still young and and still learning the game. So, um, you know, I just thought overall great team effort. <clears throat> excuse me, great team effort, and and all of the guys I thought really just they showed their true personality yesterday. Yeah, I mean, we just touched base briefly on it. Uh, like I said, after the game, um, you know, he, he wanted to look at that. We, we talked about him taking a look at that from that perspective, and, and um, I don't think that had much to do with the outcome of the game, honestly. Uh, what, what had the most to do with the outcome of the game was, again, the, the game plans, the, the, uh, the mentality, the execution, the fundamentals, the technique. Probably like to have some of that hair on his head, I guess, right? So would I, maybe. <laughs> but his, his move upstairs, I mean, that's, that's not something that coaches take lightly. I mean, do, do you think there was some, <clears throat> something that contributed to that or, or that, that may have helped him yesterday, moving upstairs? I'm not sure. What, what are you asking there? Brian Dable. Yeah, I know, I know Brian, but what do you, I, what's your question just so I know how to I, answer I guess it? Just, what, do you make of the, what do you make of the move and, and do you think it had something to do with, with, with how the offense performed that, um, in, in putting up that many yards? 
uh, again, I go back to Chris question, Chris's question, and my answer is very similar, is it had a little bit to do maybe, but there's a lot of things that had a lot more to do with it, believe me, than, than that. Uh, honestly, it's, that's a small piece. Um, at the end of the day, it's about us being in the right positions, number one, and then um, it goes back to, again, the mentality, the execution, the fundamentals. Yeah, um, that's again taking another step. That's where we're trying to go. Um, and and again, I thought the players played that way. They played with that type of mentality, that type of approach. Um, and it started it started during the week, during the week of practice. Veteran leadership uh, in our locker room, guys that I count on to connect my message with with the locker room, um, guys that I count on to give me a pulse. Um, We've got we've got good veteran leadership and, and a lot of guys that this that it means that playing well and, and winning means a lot to them and that's not always the case um, at times with uh, professional sports but I can tell you these guys take a lot of pride in playing well and take a lot of pride in winning. What needs to be done on special teams? Yeah, you know, um, you know, I honestly, you know, I thought in a lot of the coverage phases, Tim, we had we had performed well prior to this game, in particular the last two or three games there. Um, and, uh, you know, we had Saran go down, which hurt us a little bit there. And then they got to the edge, and, and let's face it, Grant's a, an explosive returner, so you give him a seam and he's going he's gonna to hurt you there. So um, we've got to make some corrections like we, like we always do. In this case, it's on special teams. And got a lot of confidence in Heath um, and a lot of confidence in our players that they'll get it done this week. No, no, I can I can promise you that that wasn't the case. Um, that team is playing with house money um, in terms of their approach. They've faked a lot of, they've done a lot of gadgetry up to that point. Whether it's been on offense, the first play of our game here was was a reverse pass, I believe, against us in the first first go around. Um, they had an onside kick yesterday. They they had already shown onside kicks this year, fake punts. Um, and give them credit they executed at a high level. We didn't execute, and, and that's something we've talked about this morning.